In this lecture, let's learn about add content child decorator in Angular and what is its use. But before that, let's recap the use of at view child decorator and what is content projection. So, in one of the lectures of this course, we learned about at view child decorator. And we learned that we use at view child decorator to access HTML elements, components, or directives from a view template in our component class. So for example, here we have this app component.html file and inside this HTML file we have written some HTML. So we have a div, inside that div we have a paragraph element and on this paragraph element we have used a local reference variable. Then in order to access this paragraph element from our app component class, we are using view child decorator. And to this view child decorator, we have passed the local reference of this paragraph element. So this view child decorator will assign this paragraph element property with a reference to this paragraph element. Okay. So using view child decorator, we accessed HTML element from the view template in our component class. In simple terms, we can access the view of a component using view child decorator. So this HTML is the view for this app component class. And we can access that view using view child decorator. Then we also learned about content projection. So we project a content from our parent component to the child component using ng content directive. So here we have this child component.html and inside this we have used this ng content directive. Then in the parent component, within the component selector, we have specified this paragraph element. So when this HTML will be rendered in the web page, this paragraph will be projected in place of ng content. And this is called as content projection. Okay. So from the parent component, we are projecting some HTML content to the child component. Now let's understand what is the use of content child decorator. So we use content child decorator to access HTML elements, components or directives from the view template of parent component in the component class of child component. Let's understand this. So here we have the view template of parent component and in this view template, first we are using the selector of the child component and inside this selector, we are specifying a paragraph element. So this is the projected content. Now on this paragraph element, we have used a local reference variable. Now what we want is we want to access this paragraph element in our child component class. Now to do that here, we cannot use view child decorator. That's because this HTML is not the view for the child component. It is the view for the parent component. But here we want to access this HTML element in the component class of child component and for that we can use content child decorator okay let's understand this with an example so here i have created a new project called content child now in this project currently we have only one component which is this app component so let's go to the html file of this app component and here let's first add one h2 element and let's simply say this is app component okay Let's save the changes. Let's go to the web page. So that H2 element has been displayed here. Now let's go ahead and let's create a new component for that. Let's open VS code built in terminal and let's create a component called demo. So to create a component, we can use ng generate command and here we want to generate a component and let's call it demo. So the component has been created. Let's simply select the selector of this demo component okay and let's use it inside this app component okay and in the demo component.html let's use ng content okay inside this selector inside this app demo selector let's also specify a paragraph element and let's say this is a paragraph. Okay, I'm just keeping this example as simple as possible so that you will understand the basic concepts of component child decorator. All right, so now what will happen is 
when this HTML will be rendered in the web page, when this view template for this demo component will be rendered in the web page, this ng content will be replaced by this paragraph element. Right. Let's save the changes. Let's go to the web page. And here you will notice that that paragraph element has been displayed here in the web page. Now, what we want is we want to access this paragraph element inside the component class of this demo component. So inside this class. For that, on this paragraph element, let's first add a local reference variable and let's simply call it paragraph. And then let's go to demo component class. And here we can make use of at content child decorator. And to this at content child, let's pass this local reference, which is paragraph. Okay. And let's create a property. Let's call it maybe paragraph element and it is going to be of type element ref okay so now this paragraph element property will be assigned with a reference to this paragraph element and to see that let's log this paragraph element in the console so here let's say console.log and let's log this paragraph element. Let's save the changes. Let's go to the web page and let's inspect the page source here. So in the console, you will notice that undefined has been logged here. Why undefined has been logged here? That's because we have learned that a property decorated with at content child or at view child only gets initialized just before the ng after content in it lifecycle hook here we are allowing this this property this paragraph element inside this ng on init and by the time this ng on init lifecycle hook gets called by that time this property has not been initialized it only gets initialized just before the ng after content in it lifecycle hook so what i'm going to do is i'm going to implement that ng after content in it lifecycle hook okay and i'm going to log this inside this lifecycle hook and let's also implement the interface for this lifecycle hook which is after content in it okay let's save the changes let's go to the web page and now you can see when we are logging it inside the ng after content in it, it has logged this element ref. And if I expand this element ref, it has this native element property. And what is this native element property pointing to? It is pointing to the paragraph element. Okay. Now, instead of logging this paragraph element here, now let's try to log its content. So on this paragraph element, we will have a native element property which will have the actual reference to that paragraph element and from here let's say we want to get the text content okay let's save the changes let's go to the web page so here you can see that text content has been logged this is a paragraph so if you want to change the value of this paragraph element you can do that inside this ng after content in it lifecycle hook so what i'm going to do is I'm going to change the text content of this paragraph to something else. Okay, let's save the changes. Let's go to the web page and let's see what happens. So here you can see it is now logging. This is a new paragraph value. Okay, so the value which we have assigned to the text content property of the paragraph element. All right, so this is a very simple example to understand the use of at content child decorator. So we use at content child decorator to access the HTML elements, components or directives from the view template of the parent component in the component class of the child component. This is all from this lecture. Thank you for listening and have a great day.